Welcome to this week's EMBN show. We're taking a look at some amazing value bikes from Decathlon. Yes, and we're also going to be looking at Cannondale's Neo and a lightweight offering from Ghost. But let's get to that Decathlon because you and Steve have been chatting about it. Let's take a look. Okay, Chris, let's get the needle on the record. Mm -hmm. We're talking... About e-bikes? Stylus. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> and so, as the penny dropped about 10 minutes later, uh, Chris Stylus from Decathlon. Mm -hmm. let's, uh, let's go through the full playlist, shall we? We shall. I think kicking things off, well, I think Decathlon have made loads of people get into the e-mountain bike game with some of their great value hardtails. We're talking about a brand which offers bikes for less than a thousand pounds, this hub drive hardtails, which is I, great for people getting yeah, into it. Yeah, and I it? think we need to be very clear here when mm -hmm. we're talking affordable and entry level or starter bikes. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think the Decathlon hub drive bikes at sub thousand yeah. pounds are fantastic offerings, mm -hmm. aren't they? Yeah, definitely. And if you're just riding, you know, mm -hmm. a single track or fire roads, it's a great Perfect. bike. Yeah, yeah. But these new bikes, mm -hmm. the new Stylus Full Suspension, offer something quite different, don't they? Yeah, so originally it was just one bike, which had some questionable geometry at the start, <laughs> I'd say. Well, I probably you probably don't mean to go into geometry, but you know, the, the chain stays mm. were pretty long. The yep. bottom bracket was, mm. I think it was pretty low. Mm -hmm. So but let's I not go there, they've shall we? Revamped. Let's not go there. Yeah, it was a couple of years ago now, and they've revamped the whole range. So there's three different models in this uh, uh, in these stylus bikes. Kicking things off, we've got the Torin model, which comes in at £2,599, which is a great price, isn't it, for well, a mid-drive full suspension bike? Yeah, I mean, 130 mm travel, 29-inch mm. wheels, four piston brakes on there, yep. um, 500 watt-hour battery, yep. great range. Mm -hmm. You've also got a powerful motor in that... Uh, Bosch performance line motor there, 65 newton meters. You've got yep. a good fork, mm -hmm. three sizes. I mean, and at a weight that comes in at 24 kilos. Yeah, it's not bad. For a is it? full mm -hmm. suspension bike with yeah. that capacity battery, mm -hmm. yeah. I think it's a good offering. I think some companies are obviously going to be cutting corners here by offering smaller batteries, unbranded motors, but um, Decathlon this is legit. right in there, isn't it? It is this, a good bike. This is legit. And, and we get lots of feedback from you mm -hmm. guys, you know. Let's see more affordable e-mounted bikes on the channel, and definitely. this is definitely one. This is hardtail money, I think, isn't it? But the mid mid-level bike is called the ST. Now this shares the same motor and battery as that entry-level Touran model, but it's got better components on there. It's got a slightly better fork. It's got better rear shock. It's got tires, wheels, those brakes that just make that a little bit. You know, if you're going into more off-road sort of trails and bike trail centers, things like that, this is, a, this is and, a bike you want. And can I say one thing mm -hmm. else, Chris? Is yeah. I think it's a good looking bike. It is a good looking bike, isn't it? And angles it, and stuff on it as well. Yeah, you know, the good. angles are right, the, yeah. the image is, mm -hmm. is right, you've got a seat dropper on there. Yeah, yeah. But there is one better than that. It is, you. it is, folks. Oh yes, this is very much the flagship bike of the range. This is the all mountain version. It's got bigger travel, 150 mil. Uh, but the biggest change of all is the fact that it's now got the Bosch Performance CX motor, which is 85 Newton meters. So the difference here is actually in, in performance and capability. Now, if you want to go into big mountain environments, then this is the bike that will enable you to get up those technical climbs. If you're a heavier rider, it'll enable you to do the steeper climbs easier than the the the, the base bike. Well, well the, not, I was going to say basic, it's the base bike. It's still a very capable bike at 65 Newton meters. The travel, it's got four sizes. It's got a a 625 watt hour battery. Now this is going to give you an insane amount of range on your bike. You know, you're talking, I don't know, you're talking probably 50 miles and 5,000 feet of climbing. Um, as Chris mentioned, there's some great componentry on the on the higher price point bikes. Yeah, SRAM Eagle drivetrain on this SRAM, you know, rock yeah. shocks, suspension I, front and rear, air adjustable. Yeah. Do you know what? One other thing, Chris, mm -hmm. is it actually looks right as well. Does, it? Yeah. I mean, we do see, you know, these. Well, we call them entry level, as I mentioned, or uh, you know, affordable bikes. But this at three thousand four hundred ninety nine is it is it's it's worthy, isn't it? It's crazy. Isn't it, it looks it? right. You know, the numbers look right in it. It's yeah. it's yeah. It Components looks like a complete package. Yeah, yeah. yeah, definitely get you out there. I think it's got that. You know, they're supplying a wide range of bikes to suit all budgets and all styles of riders. Definitely a good move and so, crazy value. So this is where the interesting question comes: When Decathlon are presenting us with bikes such as this. Mm -hmm with great motor, great battery, great componentry for £3,499, why would you buy a hardtail e-mountain bike when you can get something like that? And that the is answer is... You wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you would. I don't think you would. I honestly don't think you would. Leo, would you? Yeah. 
Leo shaking his head there. Yeah. Uh, folks, but what, do you, what would you do? What would you do if you had £3,499 burning a hole in your pocket? Would you go full suspension decathlon or would you go hardtail with, you know, a less comfy ride and make possibly less um, uh, capable componentry? Nice chap, nice bike. Mm, some yeah. Amazing value. The spec on those bikes is literally yeah. mind blowing, isn't cool. it? Well, let's keep going with the bikes. Let's mm -hmm. take a look at this uh, Ghost. Yeah, I like this. The Ghost Path Riot. It is cool looking name. good. Um, lovely lightweight e-bike using the Fazua 60 system. I don't know if I've mentioned it, Chris, but I've been to Fazua. I'm like an e-bike journalist or something. <laughs> um, but I tell you what, the motor is amazing. Mm -hmm. um, and this is a very nice bike, full carbon. Looking it cool. is, isn't it? It looks really good. It's actually hard to tell that this is even an e-mountain bike. I mean, look at that. You can hardly see that motor in there, can you? Uh, all have full carbon fiber frames, as you mentioned, Mark. 140 mil travel, rolling on 29 inch wheels. 430 watt hour internal battery with that optional 210 watt hour range extender. And these bikes are weighing in at around 18 to 19 kilos, depending on that build. But they have got a super lightweight bike coming up, which is said to weigh in at around 17.5 kilos. So that ultra lightweight version of this bike. That's not yet released, but keep your eyes open for that one. Next up, the Cannondale Neo. Bit of an all-rounder hardtail. Um, this one, you could go out on the weekends um, with a family, go on some mountain bike rides. Can it's got you? lights built into it. Yes, definitely a bit of an all-rounder. It's got a whopping 750 watt our battery big, in this, big. which they say can gives you 175 kilometers of range coming from this bike. So it's a true off-road capable bike. It's got spec on it, 100 mil RockShox fork at front, proper hydraulic disc brakes on there. Of course, that big powerful performance line CX motor on there. Rolls on 29 inch wheels, although that smaller size has got 27.5. So it does cater for all the different sizes uh, of riders out there. And as you say, Mark, it kind of ticks the boxes for uh, all round bike, isn't it? We want to take yeah. the kids out, we want to go off road in the weekends or commute in the week. You know, I think this is a, a good. What's it going to set you back, Chris? It is coming at £4,300 for this bike. Right, out and about. Let's see what you bike got. <laughs> okay, out and about. Let's see what you guys have been getting up to. Um, starting with Alex on his high bike, he's been up to Minith Gelly. Uh, in Wales, it's his local mountain, 24 miles up, two and a half thousand feet of elevation. Whoa, big Pretty ride. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's nice Getting shot. out there. Getting out there. Next up, we've got Robert here with his Norco VLT site out in Morte Lake Trail. Like that with colour. friends. It really pops out, doesn't it? it looks, yeah. Looks like an amazing trail there. Nice. It does, doesn't it? That looks like a proper adventure. That's a good out and about picture. Next up, oh, we've got a little bit of a series here from Mick. Um, he's out on his giant rain in the Black Mountains. Um, Ride from High on Way to Pandy and back, 58k, getting the miles in, look at that, big blue sky, bluebird day, loving that shot. What's that red thing down in the bottom right, can you see that? Um, it's a dragon. It's Welsh an actual dragon, dragon. yeah, Is it's it? a real one, yeah. Oh yeah, I can see it, yes. I Next we neck, up, huh? we've got Chris on his Trek Powerfly. Um, summer of fun this is. Look at this, bit of camping. Yeah. Oh, Been night time wife, loving. E-biking, no rowdy trails or high mountains, just getting on I'm there. not sure what the trails, the train's all about. Look at this, yeah, it's an amazing good. collection. Oh, look at that, camping at night in those little tents, getting out there. <laughs> True really having bike a good time. packing adventure, isn't it? Excellent, Lovely. excellent. Well, we'd love seeing where you guys and girls have been riding your e-bikes all over the world, so make sure you use the upload service and the details for that are up on screen now. Can I do a little shop shout out, Chris? You Just can, a little one, right? Mark. Because if you go over to the shop at the moment on EMBN store, right, if you buy a jersey and some shorts, you get 10% off the shorts. Little That's bundle deal there. That's good, isn't it? Look at that, and you can look like this guy. Look at him. Wow, okay. Oh, who's that? Good looking guy. Cool, isn't he? Cool. <laughs> um, yeah, you can head over to the shop, of course, and support us. We really appreciate it. Helps us make the videos, and you look good out on the trails. Win, 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 win. Um, yeah, check it out. Coming up this week on EMBN, we've got a great week of content as always. And on Friday, we're kicking things off with, do you really need a big battery? Well, do you, Chris? Well, we're looking at all different options. Me and Steve went in great lengths of discussion on that one. All right, we'll look at that one on Sunday. We've got the Rock Deserve Festival. I have been to that festival loads of times. It's really good. Yeah, she's doing a bit of pit walk around there and bringing you all the latest Who's going? You or Steve? Me. Ooh, yeah, getting a bit of winter bad. sun. Looking forward to that nice, one. Nice, nice. And on Monday, we're taking a look at Access versus XTR, Ooh. electronic versus analog shifting. What do you really need for your e-bike? Definitely. 
Right, it's time for Climb of the Week, and we've got this great entry in from Dominic, who's out of the Bosch EMTV Challenge at the Tweedler Festival recently. Now, I'm sure this shot has definitely got some GoPro effect going on. It looks a bit flat in this footage, but yeah. I guarantee this is definitely pretty crazy. And no dab steep. zone, right? Exactly, got some pretty sketchy uh, routes on that uh, on that line. And the idea that, of this is obviously get up there, much like a motorbike trial section, you're not allowed to dab your feet. If you do, you get a bit of a time penalty going on. And as Dominic says, this event is probably the best race format for e-bikes. Uphill stages with no feet zone, you're riding it blind, you have orientation points, a proper e-bike challenge. And I did it three or four years back and it was an amazing day out. So if you haven't got up to that Tweed Love Festival, get up there next year, take part. It's an amazing event. And on the subject of climb of the week, actually, um, have you seen this uh, whole enchilada climb by Braden Bringhurst? Oh, I've not seen it. We've been talking about it on the Dirt Shed Show. It is absolutely amazing. Look at this. It's coming out on November the 2nd. So it might be just about to come out or you're just about to be able to watch it over on Canyon's YouTube. It is a fantastic film That's and crazy. definitely worth a watch. Okay then, let's have a look at some comments you guys have been putting on the videos. Um, I like this one on, who are lightweight e-bikes really for? It was a great video. Um, and Hero U says, this is what I really want e-bikes for. Just enough motor to shred uphill while still being light and agile. A trail transformer to make XC trails feel much more thrilling. I love that description. Yeah, I think making great. those uphill climbs come alive. You know, if you're just mm. slogging up there on a mountain bike, add a bit yeah. of e-power into it, you know, that trail definitely uh, becomes alive. Live. Next up we've got Nicholas Tromans, he says, SL strikes happy balance between a traditional mountain bike and full fat e-bike. Tailwind up the climb but still getting a good workout and without that drag factor above the speed limiter and that boat anchor feeling when you go above 16 miles per hour which I think it's definitely very prevalent on some of those bigger power bigger ones, yes. Bob Poor adds, uh, Steve finally hit it with the battery expose. Um, let's face it, the e-system overall weight dictates the overall bike weight. Mm -hmm. um, basically going upwards from what the conventional comparable bike is. That's very true. That's yep. very true, yes. Definitely going to have a weight of that battery, the motor all combined. Adding that to a certain bike, the only way you're going to save weight is by chopping that battery in half. That's the way exactly. to do it. That's exactly um, what people are doing. Yeah, some great comments. We love you getting involved in the video, so keep that up. Even on this video here, let us know how me and Chris are doing. Yeah. Are we up to the job? Hmm, not sure. Right, let's take a look at the bike for Yes, let's get into it. The bike fault with Chris. What we got first, Chris? We have got an amazing shot here from John. Uh, got a bit of industrial action going on in yeah. the back. What's that, some digger buckets, I think, isn't That's it? That's quite cool, isn't it? It looks like a good place to ride. That is, uh, yeah, his moustache. Game six. St. Ninian's former open cast, Kelty and Fife. What are you going with, Chris? Green pedals? I'm not sure about those. N nice, super nice. <laughs> I was going to say super nice, but you just brought it down with those green pedals to a nice, I'm afraid. Oh, nice. Nearly, John. <laughs> Next up, we've got a nice red high bike from Eric Rodrigo. It's the high bike, all, how do you say it? All Mountain. All Mountain. <laughs> um, yeah, it's nice, actually. Oh, in Edinburgh, nice summery looking shot, isn't I it? I don't know if it's got anything to bring it above nice at this point. It's really? definitely nice. Is that rear mudguard not doing it for you? Oh, it's getting it there. Got it's the getting it there. We get a semi for this one or not? Uh, it's a nice. Nice. It's a nice. nice. Moving on, okay. we've got Michael's 2020 Specialized Turbo Levo. Uh, it's a great looking bike. Yeah, isn't it? Very yeah, capable. In Santa Barbara, California, out on a Sunday morning solo ride. They're sometimes the best rides, I reckon. Nice. Super nice. Yeah, nothing's nice. quite floating nice. my boat nice. yet. Right. Oh, oh, I don't oh, know yeah. about this. Next up, we have got Orbea Rise from Paul on the York, North Yorkshire Moors. That is chilly. Yeah, go on. Give it a big super, nice. super nice for sure. Cool. Next up, we've got a great looking shot here, here from Christopher. He's out of the gap and Brecon Beacons on his giant Rain E plus zero. Epic ride with a wife. Look at that. That's got to be another super nice from me, I think. Super nice, definitely. Um, this next one here is from Halvard, his YT decoy. Um, that's a Norway. very handsome bike, isn't it? It is, isn't it? That is a very, I like the shot. lines on that YT. Nice weather, so took two hours off work and went out for a ride on the e-bike. Don't blame you, with riding like that. Super nice. Definitely, next shot is in from Stefan. He's got a Mega Mode Crave CRB03, wow. Spanish made brand, full carbon frame, out in Denmark. Hey, I used to ride for Mega Mo. Did you? Yes, I did. In 1994, I was sponsored by the wow. Mega Mo UK importer when they first brought Trials bikes. Mm. They're a Trials brand originally 
into the UK. I yeah. didn't even know Mega oh, Mo a, made e bikes. Oh, won a British Championship on yeah. that Mega Mo, yeah. Nice. So, what are you thinking then? That's got to be super nice, right? Uh, nice, they were rubbish. <laughs> Next up, we've got Mark's Orbea Wild um, from Dolby Forest. It's a lovely looking Orbea, that one. Uh, again, there's a, I quite like the blue accent. I do, yeah. Blue cranks, blue hubs, blue grips, blue stem, blue clamp on that seat. Shall we end it with a nice? Oh, Shall we? You're a tease, man, aren't you? Yeah. Definitely a nice bike. We love seeing all your e-mountain bikes here in the bike vault. And of course, any other footage or clips you've got, send them in using the uploader service. Details of that uh, for that down below. Yeah, but that is it. super nice, really. <laughs> But that is it for this week's show. Let us know what you think about those decathlons, that ghost bike, and all the other stuff we featured in this week's show. Give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. As Martin mentioned earlier, check out the merch shop for all the latest new kit too.